A tubal ligation procedure is a permanent method of birth control, where the surgeon cuts or seals off the fallopian tubes in order to prevent pregnancy. A woman's reproductive system includes the vagina, the canal where sperm are deposited, and babies emerge during delivery. Uterus, the pear-shaped organ where a fertilized egg grows into a baby. Fallopian tubes, two ducts that transport eggs from the ovaries to the uterus and where sperm usually fertilize eggs. And ovaries, two glands that produce and release eggs. During sexual intercourse, sperm from the male are introduced into the vagina. They travel through a channel called the cervix and into the uterus. The sperm then move into the fallopian tubes, where they can meet and fertilize eggs that have been released from the ovaries. Pregnancy begins with a fertilized egg. If you don't want to become pregnant, you may choose a birth control method from one of several categories. Abstinence, contraception, or sterilization to permanently avoid pregnancy by having a medical procedure. Tubal ligation is one form of sterilization. Before the procedure begins, an intravenous line will be started, and you will be offered medication to help you relax. Local anesthesia will be applied to numb the area of the operation, and you will remain awake for its duration. In some cases, general or spinal anesthesia may be used instead. If you are having a laparoscopic tubal ligation, your doctor will begin by making a tiny incision near your belly button and another just above your pubic bone. Your doctor will then inject carbon dioxide, a harmless gas, through a tube inserted into the upper incision. The carbon dioxide inflates your abdominal cavity, allowing your doctor to clearly see and work around your internal organs. Next, your doctor will introduce a lighted instrument called a laparoscope through one of the incisions. The laparoscope projects images of the structures inside your abdomen onto a monitor. Through the other incision, your doctor will pass surgical instruments to grasp your fallopian tubes and close them off using the cutting and tying, blocking, or sealing technique. At the end of the procedure, your doctor will allow the carbon dioxide to escape and close the incisions with dissolving stitches. If you are having a mini laparotomy tubal ligation, your doctor will make a small incision just above your pubic bone. He or she will grasp the fallopian tubes with forceps and close them off using one of several techniques. At the end of the procedure, the incision will be closed with stitches. This method is often used just after childbirth. If you're having a laparotomy, your doctor will make a 2 to 5 inch incision in your lower abdomen. He or she will locate the fallopian tubes and close them off using one of several techniques. At the end of the procedure, the incision will be closed with stitches. Immediately afterward, you will be taken to the recovery area. If you have a laparoscopic tubal ligation, you will likely go home the same day. If you have a laparotomy or a mini-laparotomy after childbirth, your hospital stay may be extended slightly.